Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you being here. Before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe and to please share these out on your Facebook page. Uh, need to get them subscribers up. Uh, today's video is on how the creator of the Beverly Hillbillies uh, created the theme song without any musical training. I'm a musician. I know that's not an easy thing, even if you play music. So here you go. Uh, possibly one of the most iconic theme songs in any classic sitcom is that of the Beverly Hillbillies. You hear it, you know it, and you know what it's about. Uh, how these, that theme song came to be, though, is an interesting story. It's a story the show creator Paul Henning shared during a 97 interview with the Television Academy Foundation. Because his show needed a theme... He stepped up and, as he put it, wrote it out of necessity. Initially, the team behind the Beverly Hillbillies had hired others to create a theme for the sitcom. However, according to Henning, this didn't work out. Uh, the time was coming, was approaching, when we had to have it. Henning said in 97, Al Simon had engaged a pair of well-known songwriters, and they came out of Universal. I remember they did the song for me, and I said, Well, I'm sorry, but that's just not what I want. Despite having no experience writing music, the Beverly Hillbillies creator, Paul Henning, knew he had to do something, so anyway, out of necessity, I just made up some words and music, and he recalled having done so. He went to another person for help. He sat down at the piano with a very talented lady, and she and her husband were both fine musicians. I sat beside her on the piano bench, and I said, now, I can't write music, but I can sing you what I think they should be, and if you write it down, then we'll know. And she said, fine. So I sang the words and the music, and she wrote down the notes. With the theme song written, Henning and Peter Botkin, a musical director from the show, discussed the song. It was Botkin who suggested that Jerry Scoggins sing the theme for the Beverly Hillbillies, according to Henning. And Peter Botkin said, I know just the guy to sing it, so that's the way it worked out. Jerry Scoggins, I think, had appeared with Gene Autry as a singer in Western songs. Interestingly, Scoggins was only singing during the weekends when he was asked to sing the show's theme song. He was actually working as a stockbroker at the time. Um, you can watch the Beverly Hillbillies creator, Paul Henning, discuss creating the show's theme songs with the Television Academy Foundation on YouTube. The Beverly Hillbillies aired from 62 to 71, and according to IMDb, the cast included Buddy Epson, Irene Ryan, Donna Douglas, Max Baer, Raymond Bailey, and Nancy Culp. And that's all I got for you. I really think, I mean, this may not even be a big viewed video, but it should be because I, it's amazing to me that the man wrote the song because he's not a musician. And being a musician, I wrote music in my time. I wrote some songs, but it's not as simple as you might think. Uh, very cool, very cool, very creative. Man should have tried playing music after that. Anyway. Again, that's all I got for you. Don't forget the classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia over on my other channel. As always, the link will be in the description below. So go down there and click that, hit the link, go over there and subscribe. Uh, and if you can't uh, find the link, hit me up in comments and I'll send it to you. So, again, that's all I got for you. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel too. God bless. I'll be praying for you.